There is no Black Sea Fleet of Russia anymore. Ukraine hit Russian Ivan Kors ship. During the strike on Sevastopol, the Ukrainian Defense Forces hit two large landing ships of the occupants Yamal and Azov. The attack by the Ukrainian Defense Forces caused a nervous reaction among Russian propagandists. Z war correspondent Yegor Guzenko confirmed the hitting of the Yamal and Azov large landing ships. The fact remains the Black Sea Fleet is no more. The Russian military correspondent also hinted that another Russian ship, the Ivan Kurs, may have been hit. This information is also confirmed by sources of the Astra Telegram channel, which said that the Ivan Kurs was hit by two missiles at once. The UK's Defence Ministry declared Russia's Black Sea Fleet functionally inactive after Ukraine claimed to have struck another two of its ships. UK Defence Minister Grant Shapps wrote that Ukrainian attacks are taking a massive toll on the Russian fleet in a post that appeared to confirm a pair of strikes Ukraine announced last Saturday. Russia has sailed the Black Sea since 1783, but is now forced to constrain its fleet to port, Shapps wrote. And even there, Putin's ships are sinking. Earlier, Ukraine announced that it had struck two large landing vessels in the port of Sevastopol in Crimea. Some sources said the missiles used to hit the Yamal and Azov were likely UK-supplied Storm Shadow cruise missiles. The Yamal sustained critical damage to part of its upper deck and is taking on water, Ukraine's defense intelligence claim. A communication center and several infrastructure buildings in Sevastopol were also hit, the general staff of Ukraine's armed forces said. The extent of the damage to the Azov is not immediately clear. According to the Telegraph, each ship would cost about $215 million to replace with modern equivalents. Russian missile passed over Poland. Poles refused to shoot it down so as not to endanger people. Lieutenant General Jacek Gorizowski, spokesperson for the Operational Command of the Armed Forces of Poland, has explained that a Russian missile that entered Polish airspace on the night of the 23rd to the 24th of March was not downed because the Polish military realized that it would leave Poland's airspace and an attempt to down it would have put civilians at risk. Gorizowski explained that the decision not to shoot down the missile was taken by the commander of the Armed Forces Operational Command. The decision was based on the information from our radar systems. The assessment of the missile's trajectory, speed and altitude showed that it would leave our airspace, he added. He added that an attempt to down the missile would have posed a greater risk for locals. A missile weighs over two tons, 400 kilograms of which is the payload. After the missile had been downed, missile debris would have fallen on our territory. The remains of the effector used to down it would also have landed there, he explained. Gorizowski noted that if the missile had flown deeper into Poland, a decision to down it using pairs of F-16 fighter jets may have been taken. It is the operational commander who assesses the situation and is authorized to make that decision. On the other hand, even after receiving permission to down a missile, a fighter jet pilot may decide not to do it if there is a risk that debris could fall on a hospital or a school. The location of the missile's landing site is also important in making the decision, he explained. Gorizowski added that Russia deliberately maneuvers its missiles in such a way that they circle round and strike targets in Ukraine from the west. The Ukrainian air defense has realized that most Russian missiles come from the east or north. The defenders are less likely to expect an attack from the west, he said. On the 24th of March, Polish airspace was violated by a maneuvering missile launched from a long-range Russian warplane. The missile entered Polish airspace near the village of Osadow in the Lublin Voivodship and remained there for 39 seconds.